on my M1 MacBook Pro 13 inch boot up test, a lot of you guys commented to see that boot up time between the M1 MacBook Pro and the 13 inch MacBook Air 2017 that is the most favorite and the most popular one in the market even. I know a lot of you guys are using because I did post a lot of videos about the 2017 MacBook Air and thus I have a lot of people on my channels using the MacBook Air 2017 and a lot of you guys are maybe thinking to upgrade to the MacBook Air with them on or the MacBook Pro with them on but eventually the thing goes like that the MacBook Air or the MacBook Pro you're not gonna use a Mac for more than five six years maybe seven years and most of the Macs last like that long time only four years of uses now I'm on the new one most of you guys are gonna do the same thing maximum five to six years maybe so it really doesn't matter anyway we'll be comparing the boot up taste from these both devices I hope you guys will find it pretty interesting here you can see the M1 MacBook Pro 13 inch with the 16 gigs of RAM and here is the 8 GB RAM Intel Core i5 2017 MacBook Air. If you see the Mac community, this is the Mac most of the people bought at their first edge. Both of them are running the same Mac OS version. Shut down and shut down. And this one is instant. Right now you can see it's still turning off. It's still not turned uh, now it's gone so it takes a little time even to turn itself off and turn itself on and it is just instant okay time to turn both of them on three two one go okay the apple logo here first and this one second interestingly this one is going a little bit faster than that one you see but this one is gonna do itself first yeah so this is the winner right now so far it should happen uh, the next one is this one it is gonna take time this one feels a little slow after this one time to put both of the devices on sleep mode okay this one goes this one goes three two one go this one is instant it takes a little moment but still very 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 incredible go mm, almost almost same it should be fast right and it's expensive that's also right this you can get it for like 800 canadian dollars this will cost you more than 2000 it really doesn't matter that much because once your device is up and running you can do pretty much whatever you want to do in both of the devices you can run whatever application you want in another video i'll show you guys running the application on both of the devices you see macOS Big Sur is not intended to work very good on the macbook air they tried their best it works but not as smooth as this one or the m1 mac even the macbook pro 16 inch is not as good as the macbook m1 different story anyway that's it